Greetings everyone, Free here. Welcome to the demo hub. Our demo for today is High Touch. We're going to look at what High Touch is and orient ourselves around its capabilities. Now, according to the website, High Touch helps teams sync data from data warehouses back to SaaS applications. This whole space is a developing space of reverse ETL with data coming into the data warehouse data that has been enriched in the data warehouse, data that has been activated in the data warehouse gets uh, syndicated back to SaaS applications to drive business values. Before we jump in and see a demo of High Touch, as uh, I was preparing for the demo, it just came to mind of, of a song for those in the US, in the West, you might be familiar with this. It's a song uh, a little bit older, hopefully it doesn't date me, called Hotel California, interesting song. But part of the lyrics of that song was a, a line in there that talks about uh, you can check out anytime you like, but you cannot leave this hotel. You can check in, uh, you can check out anytime you like, but you cannot leave. And some part of me, as I was thinking through this, is modern data warehouses, to some extent, could easily become the Hotel California of data. Data can come in, you can load data, do ETL. Everyone talks about that. There are tons and tons of capabilities to load data into data warehouses today from different sources, streaming sources, batch sources. There is a whole practice around activating data in the data warehouse to get value. But more often than not, that data never leaves. The only place it goes to is your BI report, but can the data be sent back into the field, into the hands of the SaaS applications? to drive real-time business value or to drive general business value. So uh, High Touch is one of those tools in this space of reverse ETL. We'll look at High Touch today, but there are other tools in this space which we'll, we're going to be doing demos to around as we progress here with our demos on uh, Demo Hub. So that's it. Let's jump right in into High Touch. Once we log in, we'll welcome with a screen that looks like this. As always, the focus for our demos is not around the UI. To the left side, there is navigation and to the right side is the canvas. Uh, the UI always could change, colors could always change, layout could always change, but the concept of reverse ETL and the key uh, functionalities of this tool is what we want to highlight and orient ourselves uh, today. So coming in, the very first thing we see is the ability to manage different workspaces. Then from a reverse ETL perspective, there are a couple of concepts you want to uh, look at number one is the idea of syncs. Uh, sync is what takes data from uh, your warehouse or from source applications and sends that to a destination. So uh, almost think about ETL, but again, reverse ETL. So instead of bringing data in to the warehouse, we're taking that data that has been enriched into the warehouse and we're reversing and sending that back into your applications, your Salesforce, ServiceNow, Marketo, Workday. All those applications that are driving your business, those are getting updated with data coming from your warehouse. So syncs will be uh, a key thing to look at. And we're going to see how to create some syncs and see a demo sync I have here uh, currently uh, available. Next piece are models. If you're creating syncs, you can uh, transform the data with models. There are more advanced concepts like um, audiences, which we're not going to touch on for the demo today. And just given the nature of, of this, we have to get data from some source. We're going to put the data in a destination. So there are definitely sources and there are destinations and those all will show up here. But there are sequences. I haven't touched on this that much. And then the extensions to uh, do monitoring and, and some dashboarding and uh, transformations like DBT and Git uh, and the like. And of course we have settings. So let's jump in back into our things. To create a sync, you're going to go in and hit on sync. And with that, you're going to have to select your model, select your destination and do the configuration. Now, interestingly, I do have a sync already created. Let's open that up. And this sync is uh, leveraging the sample data from within a uh, high touch. And it's going to sync that into my uh, Google Drive. So I have a Google Drive here as blank. This could be Google Drive, this could be Adobe, this could be Workday, this could be uh, whatever SaaS application you're using to run your business day to day, your CRMs, your ERPs, and your downstream systems, those could be destinations uh, for that. So here I have sample data coming in, the destination would be the Google Drive, 
We have a sync ID. This is going to be a manual sync, meaning I'm going to have to run this every single time. You can automate this on your schedule. It has a slug and we can put in some labels, alerts around the sync. Now, if I go ahead and let's see, if I run the sync, my environment was blank. Now you see my data getting loaded here. Uh, and this is CSV data of my customers coming from my warehouse. Again, we're using Google Drive here. This could be uh, any CRM or downstream SaaS application that you've uh, connected to uh, that will get the data being loaded. So at the very high level, high touch is just reversing the flow of, of data. Let's go into source. What I wanted to do here is highlight some of the connectors that are available here in, in source. I do like the, having the sample data sets here to do my demos, but then there are uh, data systems. So if you think about Snowflake really being the core of, of many enterprises today, you have your data coming into Snowflake, you're enriching that data, you're running machine learning on top, you're doing your customer attribution and your, your machine learning forecast and running your campaign effectiveness. Once you've understood all of that within your data warehouse, you want to take that information and send it downstream. So here you're going to be connecting to Snowflake and this will be your source and your destination at that point, if we go over to destination would be a uh, one of any of these uh, hundreds of, I'm guessing hundreds of downstream SaaS applications. So if your campaigns are, are very effective, or if you want to change the, the population or your audience for your campaign and send that to MailChimp, I think there should be MailChimp here, I'm sure. Send that to MailChimp, uh, you can run that uh, analysis with Snowflake once you've identified your target customers. You need to highlight them or flag them in MailChimp. You can use something like HighTouch. That data set gets uh, reversed, again, reverse ETL down into MailChimp and the uh, marketing team could then send out the email blast to those folks. So uh, I, th that's just a very simple example of where this could be applied as a use case, but the tool that would be helping you for that would be uh, something like, like HighTouch. So there you go. This space of data integration is a very rich space. I've spent a fair part of my career in this space. So very in tune with these tools, both on the ETL side or the ELT side, as well as this burgeoning space of reverse ETL with players coming in to really take the value that's been provided by modern data warehouses like Snowflake and, and the insights being derived in those platforms and syndicating that and pushing that uh, downstream for activation and for use in running the business. So hopefully this was helpful in giving some orientation and some ideas around what high touch is. We've highlighted the capabilities, we've oriented around what it does. We've touched on the surface uh, as always. If you have any questions, links to all of this will be in the description below. Uh, check them out. If you are interested in getting more details, I'll highly recommend give the folks at High Touch a call or an email to schedule a demo or further discussions with them. Again, thanks for watching. This has been through with Demo Hub, and I'll see you in our next demo. <laughs>